The following program is brought to you by Element 14, the electronic design community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com. Finally caught you, you pirate scum. You're under arrest for violating Part 15 of Federal Regulations. The trash our rights, man! The trash our rights! Talk hard! Steal the air! Hack the planet! Hack the planet! <laughs> FM transmitter out of a Raspberry Pi? Amazing hacks. Inspired designs. Each week, Element 14 Presents brings you innovative projects using electronics, engineering, and more. Greetings programs, Matthew here, you there, and let me tell you a little bit of a story. You see, back in high school, my friends and I, we ran a little bit of a <clears throat> unlicensed radio station. Uh, it was the 90s, it was cool, it was dangerous, it was sexy, it was pirate radio. Anyway, so you know, life moves on, you grow up, you get careers, da 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 Anyway, uh, I never quite lost the, the desire, the, the, the zing, the thrill, the broadcast. So I figure, why not build a little uh, pirate FM transmitter? We'll do it totally legally, of course. The FCC actually has an exemption for low-power FM transmitters, homebrew transmitters and such. It's, it's part of Part 15, you know, the one that has, you've got the little inscription on every little electronic device ever that says, this complies with Part 15, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so Part of Part 15 allows for a low-power homebrew FM transmitters. So uh, I think we'll build one of those. But I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm actually going to build this thing out of a Raspberry Pi. You see, there's this clever group of hackers over in the UK that actually figured out how to bit bang an FM signal off of one of the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi. So I figure we'll take that, we'll add to it, and we'll see if we can actually make something that works. Okay, so I'm thinking a, a FM transmitter out of a Raspberry Pi should be pretty simple. You know, we have our Pi, and it's probably gonna be, yeah, noisy as crap. So let's give ourselves some kind of a uh, filtering device. And then from there, we need an antenna. I'm not gonna amplify this because that would get us outside of our part 15 uh, exemption. So no amplification. We're just gonna run it through a filter to take a, uh, as much of the noise as we can and then pump it out to an antenna. So we're gonna need some kind of a little case, some kind of a box with an antenna sticking out. So maybe something like that. And then probably just a little indicator light uh, and a toggle switch. And I think that's gonna be everything we need. Let's take this and let's get to building. So the first thing we gotta do before we really dive into this thing is get uh, the Raspberry Pi set up. So uh, I have here a Raspberry Pi Model 1 A Plus from the fine folks over at Element 14. Uh, so we'll get this going here. And of course I've got the uh, Raspberry Pi installation. This is uh, just for simplicity's sake. That'll be easy to install. I'm gonna open that up. And since Noobs is on here, I don't really have to mess around with downloading uh, any particular version. We'll just play with what's on here. The thing about the A is it only has the one USB port, so which is fine. The riveting, exciting world of installing operating systems. 
recipe on the desktop works just like a conventional PC. Because it is a conventional PC, sort of. It's just on the small thing. Okay, now that we've got the Raspberry Pi, Raspbian and all installed, everything's set up over there. Now, we've got to get the script uh, down from GitHub. We're going to download the zip of our transmitter application. That's done. Jump drive in. I'll move. Let's create a new folder here. We're going to call it FMTX. Uh, we're just going to copy the contents of this folder. It's all in place. Now it's my turn to play Felix here. So we're going to open up the terminal. We're going to CD to that new FM, oops, CD FMTX folder and run make. And that's going to compile the software so that we'll be able to use it on the Raspberry Pi. All right. Now, to run this thing, we're just going to invoke the command. We're going to sudo dot slash fm underscore transmitter hyphen f for frequency. And we're going to use a clean frequency here in Los Angeles. And then r and the file name is... Okay. Uh, radio tuned. Turned on. Hold on to your butts. So there's one very important thing that we have to consider when we're using the FM band. So you have, uh, so let's say you have your spectrum here, and you know, down here is TV, which is a no-no, and then up here you've got, you know, like aviation, and you've got police, and EMS, fire, military. Really, this usable bit is what we think of when we think of FM radio. So in order to stay out of these other areas, we have to basically filter out any broadcasting on any of these other frequencies, any kind of harmonics or whatever. So in order to do that, we're gonna need a couple of filters, a high pass filter and a low pass filter here. So it's just a simple RC circuit. So it's a resistor and a capacitor. So what we have for that high pass is we have a capacitor and then we have a resistor, and then that goes back to ground. And then this is our signal in. And then on the low pass side, we have a, we have our signal in, we have a resistor, and then we have a capacitor that then goes back to ground. So we'll take our formula here, we'll plug in some numbers, and we will determine the values for the capacitor and the resistor to go in here. And then our diagram for the full band pass filter is gonna be something like this with the first capacitor down, do to do, there's our resistor uh, back to ground. And then it'll go there to the second capacitor and then that'll go back to ground. And then this will be out, our signal out, so signal in and there you have it and then this will go out to the antenna this will come back to the ground and we'll be in business So we've got our, uh, our bandpass filter breadboarded here. Uh, this is the uh, low cutoff section. This is the high cutoff section. So let's give this a, let's give this a quick check here. So you can see here, we've got our uh, 99.7. That's where we're broadcasting on. Uh, but we've got some harmonic broadcasting over here on these, uh, 
you know, the 98, 99, and this 98, 187, or yeah. So we've got our main frequency here. That's our strongest frequency, uh, obviously, because that's what we're targeting. But yeah, we've got so many harmonics. Uh, and that's because, it, you know, every single one of these components is essentially an antenna. It's got two little bare legs on there. So that's, each one of those is actually broadcasting on a slightly different frequency because of the way it is, um, because of the way it's manipulating the electrical signal coming from the Pi. So I think the best thing to do at this point is to get this guy onto a little piece of proto board and then we'll stick him into this nice little uh, shielded metal case that I picked up. Let's play with that. Let's get this thing. Uh, let's get this thing soldered onto some board, and let's put that together, and we'll see where we are. So one other thing I gotta look at is I have this little LED that's going to light up when the unit is broadcasting. So I need a little Python program, a little Python script to, uh, to turn on that LED. Uh, and it's very simple here, you can take a look. It's just importing the RPI GPIO library uh, as this GPIO object. Um, then we're gonna set the mode to BCM, so we're using the BCM pin numbering. Uh, then we're going to take, take BCM17, set that as our output, and then uh, we're going to toggle that high. And that's, that's it. That's the end of the script. So that's easy enough. Now the last thing I got to do is just set the transmitter and the Python uh, script to run on boot. So we're going to do that using the uh, etc slash rc.local file and all we're doing here is we're just adding a couple of pieces of, of code here so I've got the fm transmitter code started which is just pseudo dot slash fm transmitter uh, frequency 99.7 and we're actually going to change that and that's it and we are ready to put this thing into the case add our broadcast file turn it on and Make sure it works. Okay, now that we've got her into the case, uh, let's see what this thing looks like. Okay, so looking at it now, we can see our signal here, very nice and strong on 99.7. Uh, all the crazy harmonics and everything are, are pretty much gone now. A uh, little bit of noise, it's still kind of a noisy signal. It is a very dirty signal just because of the sheer, you know, punk rock nature of this thing. Um, I mean, we are literally bit banging a, a signal out. So here she is, my very own little Radio Caroline. Uh, looks cool, works really well, quite proud of the little details I put on there. If I had to do it over again, uh, one of the limitations is that it does have to be a pre-recorded sort of uh, a broadcast program on there. So you have to put that on the SD card before you put it in there, before you turn it on. Uh, so I would like to see if I could get a way to actually uh, do a pass through and record live or broadcast live with it. Um, that could be down the road, version 2.0. Uh, other than that, I think, it's, I think it turned out really well. Now it's your turn. Have you ever built a pirate radio station? 
If you ever worked with RF equipment, maybe you're a ham radio operator. Let us know in the comments at element14.com forward slash element14 presents. You can also find out information about upcoming events, contests, and much more. My name is Matthew, and until next time, tally ho, y'all. Go and change your language to Merc in English. Merca. Stupid up, 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 up,